Now, as you all know much about sound, we are now going to discuss three very important characteristics of sound. Out of that, one is loudness, other is pitch, third we have is quality. So, we are going to discuss all these three. So, first of all, we will start with the first con uh, this thing characteristic that is the loudness. What is loudness now? As you all know that sometimes when somebody speaks with you, so sometimes sound appears to be loud, you can hear actually in a high volume and sometimes you hear very slow and you ask your friend that just repeat it again that what you are saying because I am unable to hear. So, in that case the sound is the sound is not having a high volume, it is actually of low volume. So, that is what is, it, is the loudness. So, loudness is, loudness is degree of sensation of sound, degree of sensation of sound and uh, on what factor it depends actually? It depends upon amplitude. As we have already discussed the amplitude, you all know that like if there is if the wave is like this amplitude is the maximum displacement travelled in upward or downward direction. So, loudness depend upon amplitude. Higher is the amplitude, higher is the amplitude, louder is the sound, louder is the sound. This is the main factor on which loudness depend. Otherwise, it also depend upon the distance between source of sound and receiver distance between source of sound and receiver. Suppose if, uh, if somebody is standing just uh, near to you and say something that sound appears to be appropriately loud. But if somebody is very far from uh, far from you and he speaks that, so that sound does not appear to be that much loud, it is actually slow. So, this is what is the uh, like how it depends upon the distance between source and receiver. If source and receiver are closer to each other, the sound will appear louder and if source and receiver are far from each other, the sound is not going to uh, appear louder, it will actually be faint. So, this is what is the factor. Moreover, it depends upon many other factors like the surface area, it depends upon uh, the uh, you can say uh, the, uh, the weather conditions around you. So, but the main two factors which it depends upon is the amplitude and the distance between source and receiver. If we plot a graph like if I want to plot a graph in order to show you the graph for the louder sound and graph for the fainter sound. So, see this is suppose I have a one graph like this and one graph like this. So, here you can easily make out that here the amplitude is this much or we can say this much and here the amplitude is this much that means more. So, that means this sound will be loud and this sound is going to be faint that not that much loud because it has lower amplitude. And uh, in what units do we measure uh, loudness? We measure loudness in decibel, decibel is denoted by small d and capital B and you know that uh, the telephone was discovered by Alexander Bell. So, loudness uh, the unit for the loudness is also bell also and you know that one bell is actually equal or you can say that uh, one decibel is equal to one tenth of bell. Right. So, this is what is the loudness, one of the important property of the sound. So, we have done with the loudness, now we are going to start with another property that is the pitch. Pitch is the property, pitch is the property by which we can distinguish between or we can actually tell that what sound is shrilled and what sound is flat. So, actually pitch is a property by which we can distinguish between shrilled and a fat flat sound. 
Shrill means sharp voice and flat means deep voice. So we can actually distinguish between that whether the sound is sharp or deep or we can say whether the sound is shrilled or flat. So, because uh, you can actually uh, notice this kind of pitch, suppose we have a baby in our home and he is crying, so that sound of crying baby will be somewhat difficult, different from the sound of an uh, adult who is crying, because the, the, uh, this thing, the sound of crying of the baby is obviously going to be shrill, it is going to be sharp and the sound of the crying of adult is something deep, that means flat. So there, uh, there you can actually notice the pitch, so they actually differ in the pitch. Now on what factor the pitch actually depends? Pitch depends upon frequency, pitch actually depends upon frequency and what is frequency as we have already discussed? Number of waves produced in one second, we have, we have, we know that number of waves or we can say number of vibrations one and the same thing produced per second. So more is the frequency, more is the frequency, higher is the pitch. Higher is the pitch means shrilled is the voice, that means sharp is the voice and vice versa. Lower is the pitch, lower is the frequency, lower is the pitch and deep or flat is the sound. So if somebody asks you to plot a graph for a shrilled voice or a flat voice, how we can show it? We can show it, suppose I have grass, graph like this and I have one graph like this. So there here you can make out that here the uh, frequency is actually less and here the frequency in second uh, in per second is more. So that means this is a graph for a shrilled voice that means a sharp voice and this is a graph for the deep or a flat sound. So this is how you can distinguish between the from this, uh, the second property that is the pitch and you know that moreover pitch also depends upon some other factors also. It depends upon, it depends upon tightness, it depends upon mass and also it depends upon the length of the vibrating body, of the vibrating body. Like more is the tightness, I will write here, more is the tightness shrilled is the voice that means sharp is the voice and you don't know that actually pitch actually decrease with increase in mass and length pitch actually decrease that means the sound becomes flat with increase in mass and length of the vibrating body or you can say the sound producing uh, or any vibrating body like we have larynx, so in larynx also we have a vibrating body inside. So if the mass and the length increase, the pitch actually decrease, that means the flatness of sound actually increase. So the third property pitch is over, so we are going to start with the third property that is the quality, that we have is the quality. What is quality? Quality is one of the property by which we can distinguish between two sounds, two different sounds actually of same loudness and same pitch or we can say same of same frequency and same amplitude. Suppose if uh, you can say that if somebody is playing a guitar in one room and somebody is playing harmonium in another room, so you easily come to know that yes this is a guitar sound and this is a harmonium sound. So that property which may uh, which help us to distinguish between those two sounds is actually a quality. So in the same way you can actually distinguish between a, a horn of the scooter and horn of the truck, you can easily make out that this is a horn for the truck or this is a horn for the scooter. So the, again the same property is that which uh, enable us to you to distinguish is the quality. Another the say another example suppose there is a dark room inside and one of your friend is inside and he just uh, take your name. So how you distinguish that yes uh, the uh, or say suppose my friend is Amit, so I say that if some Amit is there in a room and but there is a darkness I cannot see Amit inside, so but Amit is uh, taking my name, so how I come to know that yes the incident like in the room Amit is there because I cannot see that but uh, still I can make out that in the room there is Amit because the one who is taking my name is Amit again by the same property that is the quality. 
right so quality enable us to actually distinguish between two different sounds of same loudness and same pitch now what is the reason that we can distinguish it is due to the pattern of the wave formed by them pattern of the wave formed by them suppose I uh, suppose if I draw a graph for the uh, guitar sound, so let us say suppose this is a wave, so let us say that guitar sound uh, waveform is like this, this is just an example and if I ask you for the suppose I say for a drum sound, I say that suppose it is like this, so that means they are just forming the different wave pattern likewise you can draw they are just forming the different wave patterns and due to which we can actually distinguish between the two different sounds of same pitch and same loudness. So, this is what is the three important characteristics that is the loudness, pitch and quality.